Hello YouTube, this is just a quick video on how to stop over the air updates for BYD Atro 3. Um, this is a temporary procedure, it's fully reversible. Um, it also applies to Dolphin and Seal, um, but that, that's assuming you can still sideload applications. So if you're on version, I believe, 13.1.32.22, or higher, I believe. And for seal owners, it's 13.1.33.2310 and higher. You probably can't do this, but um, yeah, you'll need to you'll need to be able to sideload applications for this. And you can either sideload via USB method or the package install unlock method, which is what I'm going to be using in this video. Um, links to both of the methods are in the description. Uh, you definitely want to learn those first before you try this because it's not possible otherwise. And you also need an application that can look at the list of things installed on the car. Um, I use App Manager. Uh, you can either get it from iCloud Share or via the GitHub link, and both of these are in the description as well. Um, why would you want to do this? So, number one is to uh, prevent future OTAs that come along and remove silo capabilities. So I know that the 13.1.32.2310 update introduces the BYD Authentication Service APK. Um, that makes it so there needs to be like a third party authentication before you can install anything to the car, which is pretty annoying considering how Android works. Um, and also in this particular update, because of course updates can be bundled, uh, Android Multimedia and ECU B BMS updates, um, they can be bundled, and in this particular case, version 1.7 has a EC update for the lane centering assist system, um, which removes the uh, nudging on the fifth beep hands-free function. So if you know what that is, you probably want to keep it. Um, but that's about it, so let's get started. So we'll jump to my car first. Here's my car. Alright, first, um, I'm using the package install unlock method, so I can download it straight from a browser, I don't have to use no USB. So first, um, remember this GitHub thing is in the in the description of this video, so you don't have to manu manually type this link in. Okay, click on this and it will download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to, oh, I'll, I'll press it anyway. And then click on the bell, you should see it downloading. Done, just left click it once. Get this warning, but it's okay because we have the package install unlock method. Um, if you don't haven't gone through that method yet, after this window you'll get an error. But I won't. Cool. App manager, left click it once to install it, or tap it once. Key store, ignore that. Now, if you don't see this allow USB debugging window, um, stop right here and press the press down on the volume wheel in the middle and restart the screen. Alternatively, turn the car off, wait 10 seconds, turn it back on. Um, if this doesn't show up, I find that the, the entire app becomes extremely buggy. So make sure you have this, okay? Press allow. My recording thing will crash because that uses ADB as well, but I'll connect back in. And after you allow the USB, USB debugging, it might freeze here for a bit. We'll give it like 30 seconds to load, but if it, if you've already done the USB debugging step and it's st absolutely stuck here, you can just force close it and restart it. Um, you'll know it's working when it says in the bottom, like working in ADB mode. Um, that's what we need. So we need this thing to be connected to the car using ADB. Okay, not much luck here, so I'm just going to close it out. And then click it once again, and it should just work. Yep, working on ADB mode, perfect. Never show again, I agree. Cool, so once you're in here, search OTA, very simple. So there's two things you want to you wanna remove. Um, when it's red over here, it means it's already removed, because I've already done this, obviously. And I'll just prove to you so I'll just reinstall it. It's installed. 
and then so I'll just install both of these back just make sure it's installing cool so now keep in mind what these two system updates OTA server and then we'll just go to the settings over here software and if I click update here it's going to check version and then look here it's going to start downloading something Oh, and here we go. Look at that. Downloading update pack. All right. So quickly, if I go back to App Manager here and quickly uninstall this. Stop, stop, stop. Uninstall. Uninstall. As soon as that becomes red, look, the update thing was gone. All right. So as long as you uninstall system updates, com.byd.ota update in the OTA server. Um, still not quite sure what this does yet, but I think to be safe, you uninstall it. And as you saw, once it's uninstalled, even if you just tap it once, you can reinstall it. So this is uninstalling it, but keeping the package around. So in the future, for whatever reason, you want you say, okay, screw this, I want to upgrade. Click this, right, reinstall, go back to settings, and hit update. So now that we've we've uh, disabled the system updates and OTA server. When I press this button, it should do nothing. Okay, you can't really see me clicking it, but I'm clicking it. You can hear my mouse. All right, so once you've done that, once you've uninstalled these two and pressing this button and nothing comes up, that's how you know um, that it's all good. Now, of course, I said before that this was entirely reversible and it's just real simple, right? You just click once, reinstall, click again, reinstall. You're done. Yep, so that's basically it. Um, now, in the future, uh, I will create a video uh, explaining how to downgrade your Android multimedia system. Um, so, for example, if you want to re regain the ability to sideload, you might be interested in this. Um, however, at the moment, because ECU and BMS updates are fully encrypted, and of course, breaking a multi billion dollar company's encryption key is probably impossible so this is not possible to to uh, achieve back unless you use something like um comma ai common ai sorry um and the baku pilot fork um basically it's like a comma ai thing um, i'll probably make a video on it in the future when i install it into my car um basically it's a level two autonomous driving hardware slash software combo that hooks up to your car's existing adas um, hard hardware and takes control of your steering wheel and and the accelerator and brakes. So it's a really good system. Um, I'm really interested in it. Um, it's uh, bought from Malaysia, I believe. So keen to try it out soon. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, I'll be sharing this on Facebook as well as my other social groups. So if you've got any questions, just let me know.